So here we have one of three tiny little babies, baby raccoons. And um, you hear his little brother right here. And he is screeching because he's next in line to get fed and he's starving, the poor little guy. He's so cute. And these little guys were um, actually found by somebody after uh, a neighbor had poisoned their mother because he didn't want raccoons around. So their mother was found dead. And she had three little babies. They're about three weeks old. And um, basically my mom, who's uh, a wildlife uh, rehabber, as you know from this YouTube channel, um, she got the call for these little guys and she's going to nurse them um, until they're big enough to uh, let out into the wild. So what you have are three very, very cute and very hungry little raccoons. Now look at this guy. Oh, he is so cute. Come on, little guy. You're going to eat in a second. And there's his other little brother there. He already ate. That's why he's in that box right now. And there's a little carry cage that uh, she brought him here with. And look at him. He's so little. He, <laughs> he's only three weeks old. His eyes are barely open. And he, uh, he can't hardly stand up because he's such a little baby right now. And he is hungry. That's why you hear them crying. That little chirping noise is what they do. When they're hungry or they want something. They're like little babies. Aw, he's so cute. It's hard to believe that uh, when he grows up, he'll be a big fat raccoon who could rip you up if he wanted to. Look at that little face. Look at that. You're going to eat. You're going to eat. God, they are cute. They are cute. So please, people, don't poison animals for God's sake. We share the earth with them. And it's pretty disgusting when people poison them because... Maybe it's inconvenient to have a few raccoons come in your yard or get in your garbage. You know, if a raccoon becomes a problem, then call call your local uh, call your local rehabber. Call uh, you know the local animal control people and and you know take care of it that way. Don't poison animals; they're beautiful. Look at him; he's so cute. All right, you're gonna eat. Okay. What a good boy. Now watch him stop chirping as soon as he eats. We're going to trade raccoons here. We got another little cutie right here. He's very happy. He's not letting go of mom. Now watch this little guy. He knows he's going to eat. Let's see how he's chirping away. Here he goes. <laughs> Look at him. He's starving. No more chirping. No more crying, huh? That's all he wanted. That's so cute. Mm. What a good boy. And then when you hear this kind of chirp, that's from little happy guys who've already eaten. So I'm going to put these guys back in their cage, since we know which ones have eaten now. And this isn't their cage, this is just a little travel thing. My mom just got these guys. They're actually going to go to her rehab place where... She has really nice cages for them and all kinds of things for them to climb on. And look, now you got two very happy raccoons and a third one coming and with nice little bellies full of uh, whatever kind of formula she's feeding them. So, there you go. It's your chance to see little baby raccoons, almost newborns. They're so cute.